Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use both the loop out and the wiggle expression on the same transform property. So if you have added a loop out expression, such as ping pong, and you also want to add a wiggle expression, this tutorial is going to show you how you can use both. I've added the loop out ping pong expression on the position property. So this simple animation is going to endlessly loop back and forth forever. But I also want to add a little wiggle. So I'll click inside the expression editor. I'll tap enter or return to go to the next line. I'm going to type out wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses. I'll type the value six comma 10. I'll click outside, put a semicolon for best practice. Now when I tap the spacebar to preview, I can see the wiggle, but the ping pong expression is no longer working. The animation is not repeating back and forth. The reason that wiggle is working in this case and not the loop out ping pong is when you stack expressions, After Effects is gonna look at the bottom expression and make that the default or the primary. So if I move the wiggle on top of the loop out, I'll tap the space bar to preview. And now you can see that the wiggle expression is no longer working, but the loop out ping pong expression is. I'm gonna press Command Z to undo that to fix this. So we can use both the loop out and the wiggle expression together on the same position property. First, we'll create a variable or a container for each expression. I'll just click inside the expression editor. I'll tap the left arrow key so my cursor is before the loop out expression and the variable name can be anything. I'm just gonna type out the word loop, L-O-O-P. Does that make sense in this situation? I'll tap the space bar to add a space. I'll add the equal symbol and then another space. And now I've just created a variable for the loop out ping pong expression. I'll do the same for wiggle. I'm gonna type out the word wiggle, space, equal, space. So now we have two variables. Nothing has changed yet. We have wiggle, but the loop out ping pong expression is not working. So we're going to create a simple formula and add the two variable names together. I'll click inside the expression editor. I'm going to click again. So my cursor's at the end. I'm going to tap the enter or return key a couple times just to make a little space so it's easier to see. And now I'm just gonna add the two variable names together. So in my case, loop plus wiggle. L-O-O-P, I'm gonna add a space, but it's not necessary. Add the plus symbol, another space, wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E. I'm gonna click off and the clay circle disappears, which is not what I want. It didn't actually disappear. If I select that layer and zoom out a little bit, you can see the bounding box for it. If I move the CTI, the animation is working. After Effects just shifted the value, which gets a little complicated. The value is calculated by this top left corner. All we need to do to fix this is just minus the value from this equation. So I'll click inside our little formula that we just created. I'm gonna enter a space after the word wiggle. I'll put the minus key, type value, once I click away, the ball is gonna to return to its normal position or where we had it before. Now, when I tap the space bar, we have wiggle and the loop out ping pong expression is working. Perfect. And remember, you can name your variables anything you want. So if I wanna change this from loop to the letter L to keep things simple, I'll change wiggle to the letter W. I need to make sure to update my formula so I'll change this to L plus W. I'll tap the space bar, no change to the animation. And that is how you can use both the loop out and the wiggle expression together on the same transform property in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.